Look at these words and tell me, ladies, what you think when you think about that body part. Your arms, your rear end, your whole body, your stomach, or your chin, or chins. Well, if you're like 91% of women, you feel that there is something wrong with some part of your body. It's called body image issues. And it's safe to say that we all have them. Joining us is therapist Tracy Barry McGee on Studio B, and she is the founder of the Sister Keepers Empowerment Center and a dear friend of mine. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. First of all, why is body image such an important issue to discuss as it pertains to girls and women? Well, it is it's an important issue because it's something that we are inundated with in society all the time. When we're focusing on social media, mass media, television, radio, magazine, it's something that is in our face. And we deal with it from the time that we come, come, in, come into the world. As we grow up, people are always looking at our young women and girls and how they look. And how they look. I, I read and how they look. one statistic that said, I think it was third or fourth, third and fourth graders, that a, an alarming percentage felt they were fat. They do. They and do. They do. And actually, like you said, 91% of women, but most girls go through this transformational stage of life where either I'm too thin or I'm too thick right. or I just don't fit at all. And it's it doesn't help that social media, and we mm -hmm. talk about that all the time, and television, radio, videos, movies, movies magazines. You have to you have to be a, a certain size. And, and it's not okay. And the majority of us are not the majority that size, of us are not, not that size. Not not the model type. Not at all. I, I five percent. I I think I read five percent exactly exactly have that that. How do you see in your in your therapy with your clients at Sister Keepers? How do you see the negative impact of women and girls having a negative body image? Well, as a result of the body image issue, it does definitely affect self-esteem. Self-esteem is crucial. And so as a result of that, we have girls that are literally dealing with more depression. We have girls that are contemplating suicide or cutting. We have girls that are interacting in um, um, sexual activity at a much early age as a result of wanting to feel that someone looks at them and sees them. Um, they're interacting inappropriately on the internet as well as the eating disorders. That happens with women and girls. Let me back up to the um, sexual activity. Mm -hmm. Promiscuity mm -hmm. uh, is, is certainly one that I hear you saying. We, I think some people think, well, she's just, we, you, we use the term loose. She's just loose. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, she's just nasty. I mean, there's all mm -hmm. kinds of ways we describe it. Right. But you're telling us that the foundation of that is a lack of esteem, a lack of self-esteem. Definitely. If you have not had someone to tell you that you're beautiful and that your body type is the perfect type or it, you should be okay with that type, then now you're seeking it out in a negative way. And it doesn't matter that... There are even sometimes your closest family and friends, but when society is always pointing that you don't have that perfect size, the minute some young man comes up to you and you don't feel right about yourself, then you give in. You give in, and it's not okay. And it's just like that. It is just like that Tracy, for sixth, seventh grade girls. Do we just turn the TV off? I mean, how is social media is everywhere for our, for our girls and for all of us. Right, right. Well, you know, they say that... Um, the majority of girls that are watching so much reality TV, um, it has a huge influence on them. Watching the videos all day, um, going into the internet and, and even live streaming. We can't cut the television off. What we need to do is have more positive television. And we need to have dialogue and conversation about these things that these kids are watching. And women, because we're influenced by we it as well. absolutely influenced. And, and for a lot of us, if you grew up with it and you never dealt with it, you're mm -hmm. still carrying it, then we become mothers. I only we have do. sons, but we become mothers. And we're saying things about ourselves and about our girls. And it's con the cycle continues. It does. And it's not just... Um, movies and, and it's even commercials there's just a sharp glance of what we feel that we need to look like right. and we look at each other and either we size the person up and say oh at least I look better than her, her here or there or oh my god I have work to do 
Right. And then the kid is looking at you, your daughter or your sister or your niece, and they're saying, well, if you have work to do and I look like you, then what does that say about me? I have me? work to do, too. I always jokingly say that fat people apparently don't take vacations because all of these commercials that we see for these wonderful vacations, Everybody's none of the people on vacation. And exactly. And it, exactly. it throws everything off. And so yes. it, it creates this low self-esteem that our girls are constantly dealing with. It's, it's having a critical impact. It is. I, I love the your slogan. Um, it, it's a foundational issue for you, foundational words. Mm -hmm. I define me. And Absolutely. that's what you say to your girls at, at, at the Sisterhood, a Sister Keeper Empowerment Center. What does I define me mean? Exactly what we say. I define me. Social media doesn't define you. Society doesn't define you. Even the music that you listen to, a lot of times girls say it's just the beat. They know the words, but when you really go deep into the words, they should not define you. But what should define you is your inner self. People should see that light shine outward. They should see that you're not uh, a body type. You're not a size. So many times we get caught up in, I want to be a size three or a size five or, or whatever that size may be. And then there are some kids who say, I've never been that size in my life. I skipped all of them. I went right to, yeah. <laughs> yes. So your voice defines you. The power that you have, the strength, your friendships, your mind. Mm -hmm. It's all about mind. And we get caught up on the outside when it should be from the inside out. I define me. Absolutely. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us on Studio B. Thank you We're for gonna, having me. You're going to put a link so you can get in touch with her and find out. Sister Keepers, you, you have a group on Friday nights. We actually um, are in various schools, and we are local, national, and global. We have Sister Keeper in New Mexico, Germany, Thailand, Jamaica, and Ghana. But here in St. Louis, we do have programs after school as well as in the community. The so girls need check it. us out. The girls need it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having me. More Studio B at KMOX.com.